If you've been following along our journey, you know we love to eat. And it seems that we are constantly stuffing our faces with the best food in Italy. Grazie. It's so good. And while that's definitely true on some days, the reality is 99% of the time, we actually grocery shop for food to cook and eat at home. Dinner and a show, ladies and gentlemen. So I thought it would be fun to bring you along on our weekly grocery store run to show you how much groceries typically cost in Florence and what we usually buy in a week at the shop. That's a big one. No more. What are we getting? Where's my salami? Let's get some salami. Wait, they moved it. Where's our salami? Do you want a giant thing of parmigiano? It's like wrapped for Christmas. They have a lot of fresh pasta here too. So you can get, this one is mushroom. What's porcini again? It's a type of mushroom. Oh, okay, so this one's a certain type of mushroom. You got, ooh, tartufo, so that's truffle. Ricotta. Yes, this is an expensive, expensive one. That's yeah, we great. don't we don't buy from this yeah. section. Got a whole cheese section here. This is cacio cavallo, I think. That's cool. Find it. Is it spricciolona? Yeah, spricciolona. The spricciolona is so good. How much is this? Five ninety one. So it's not bad. What a hit the We normally pay between four and five. Do you want any beef? All the Christmas decorations are up. Panatone. All the panatone. Oh. Let's see, there's different there's different kinds here. I think this is the normal classico. So this must be the normal one. This one is pear and chocolate. That's interesting. This pistachio panettone comes with a little crema de pistachio jar for the top. 15 euro. Pandoro is also so good. It's the other Christmas cake other than panettone, oh my god, Matteo would love this one. So this one is $12.90 for the pistachio one. This orange duck apparently is also a Christmas tradition. We've never had one of these before though, so not too sure what it tastes like, but it looks interesting. We have these mini Pandoro and mini panettone boxes too. Pandoro is 95 cents and the panettone is $1.19, that's so cute. Can we get cotoletta? No, we'll get one of these. So these cotolettas are roughly $2.50 for a pack. So we like to get those. We don't need a lot of meat, so this is basically it. <laughs> What's this? Liver? Liver with... What is rete? Ooh, that doesn't sound Ooh, good. That Beans? looks... I don't know. That looks very maroon. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Always use a glove. <laughs> <laughs> That's pointless. Lucky we just get in bananas. That looks nice. It's five. Always use the glove when touching fruit. I mean, they're all pretty 
Not right. What's up, Sidra? Not right. Not right. Un unripe. Un <laughs> no. I know. Wait, ooh, those, that bunch in the back is good. This pack is not going to hold this many. Yeah, we always have to double bag these because they rip. Well, I guess now I've learned. No one finger. Fruta. Banana. Sticker comes out of this little thing. And then you put it on the bag. If the bag holds. Hopefully. Oh, sorry. That glove looks so good on you. I oh, know, is that all we wanted? What other fruits mm -hmm. did we want? What's in season? Uh, oranges. Oh, the oranges are on sale today, so we're just gonna grab a bag of those. So it's 118 a kg, these look pretty good. You don't need a glove to grab the packages of fruit. <laughs> That's not our cart. Oh man, where's our cart? <laughs> I almost put our oranges in someone else's cart. <laughs> yeah, especially. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they were like 118 a kg. Yes. Do we want to grab more rucola? No, because we haven't eaten anything. So this is 98 cents. We typically get this bag of rucola, but or arugula, but we haven't really been eating it. So I think we'll give that a miss today. So these are the scales you have to use to weigh your fruit. So when you bring your fruit over, you choose whether it's fruit or a vegetable or one of these, you weigh it, and then the sticker will come out of here. Oh, the Christmas section. But we need protein cups. Protein cups. Protein cups. One more butter, are we good? No, we're good on butter. We like to get these chocolate and vanilla flavored pudding cups. What are they? One sixty nine for one. A little bit steep for us, but we need the protein. <laughs> this looks so good. I love that. It's like already prepackaged for you to host people. How cute are these little plants? Yeah. Yes. Is that sambuca? Where? Oh yeah. Reminds me of our younger days. They've got these little gift baskets. Ooh. Oh my god, Mateo, it's a grappa ornament. Nice. You can get a little grappa ornament for six bucks. That's so cute. Okay, unpopular opinion. I do not like panettone. I just hate the dried fruit. But I think if we go for a chocolate one, that's not chocolate. We'll find a chocolate one. <laughs> I need a chocolate one. The best section of the store. The best part of Italian grocery stores is that even the bottom shelf wine, you'll find a lot of DOC or DOCG labels, which means it's like quality Tuscan wine and they're really like not that expensive at all. This is cheap, but we prefer to get the one that's over here. It's $2.99 and it's still a DOCG, but just more, more affordable. <laughs> we need to stock up because we just ran out. And you also get white wines that are DOCG. We used to drink some of these in the summer when it was hot. And you're looking at about four bucks there, or three dollars for some of these ones. I mean, there really just is so much to choose from, it's not even funny. Yeah, we need to get burrata, I forgot. In the summer, we were drinking a lot of this with Matteo's parents. It's Vecchia Romana. It's a brandy. You put it with Coke, and it is delicious for only 11 euro 60. In the summer, it was actually like a euro cheaper. I think it was like 10 bucks. And the beers here, you can also buy pretty much like one off. They also have like six, they also have six packs, but a lot of them are loose. And pretty much all of these are. <laughs> You can just take as many as you want. So the beer on Messina we used to drink in Sicily a lot. It's one thirty-nine. We usually try and get the ones on sale. We like bags. We also like Iknusa. The Iknusa in our store runs at one twenty-six. 
And we also like Vera Moretti. So one of these is 124. And they're pretty big. These ones are 66 CO. Not too badly priced. I forgot the burrata. This is definitely a splurge for us. It's $2.59 for a ball, but we love it. It's the burrata. What do we need? What's next? We're gonna need one more coffee. Okay, should we grab another one of these? This is the one we normally get. It's two packets of Lavazza for $5.65, so it's not bad. There's like a bunch of different ones here. And you also have the like Illy, like actual ones for a machine. The sweets here are just endless. You're not short of options on morning biscuits either. I love these ones. They're half um, chocolate, half penne fresca. This whole bag is two euro seventy nine. Oh, these ones are also these ones are also really good. A little bit more, but people love eating cookies with their coffee. Oh yeah, and and the stella is also delish. These are a little bit pricier though. I need some granola for the morning. Yep. So we get the chocolate and nichola one. Do you need peanut butter? No. Yeah, the peanut butter options in Italy are not a thing. So it's basically, I don't even know. This is, this is even real peanut butter. It's just like a paste. Okay, I mean, you're paying $3.79 for this little tub, 350 grams. Meanwhile, in Sicily, it's almost seven euro for a tiny tub of skippies. Matteo likes these oats in the morning, and they're one ninety nine for a five hundred gram bag. Pasta time! Lots of pasta to choose from. We usually go for fusilli, and for these five hundred gram boxes, it's usually sitting around a euro to a euro five. So, not bad. Okay. Did, it, did I open that new one? Yeah, so we need more pasta sauce. Of course, this aisle is stacked with sauces and pasta. Ooh, we need an arrabbiata. Okay, so our two go-tos are usually basilico and arrabbiata, and they're 175 a pop. We also usually grab one of these to go on our pasta. And they're around 165. These are cans of tomato for 141. So there's three big ones in here and we put them in a lot of dishes. We always go through so much pesto. But sansa olio means without oil. So we're gonna need the one that doesn't say sansa olio. And either way, it's 239. Oh, uh, oh, okay. This is ragu. Ragu. Okay, so this one's good. Let's let you try that. Okay. Sena bredo petto scanach. Okay. Sulla pasta. Ragu sulla pasta. Okay. Oh, okay. Try. Yeah, let's, let's try. Let's try. try. Yeah. Grazie mille. Perfetto. Let's try. We haven't tried them before. Grazie. Grazie. So. Oh yeah, I need one of these. I'm special today. That was that was so funny. They were very sweet. That was very nice of them. Why not? <laughs> and these are on sale and I do love them. They're a nice little morning snack with our coffee. They're on sale for $149. So I think we will get those because it's been a while. Oof, so many carbs in this cart, it's crazy. Okay, back to the fridge because I forgot the nut paste. This stuff is so good. Black truffle, usually sit around 220. Did you just put that back? No, I, mean, it's, I can't carry that much. <laughs> Three's enough. Mm -hmm. I want it. <laughs> Pepsi Max, 139. So something interesting about Italy is that like you really cannot 
find lemonade here, like normal lemonade. You get like lemon drinks, but it's not lemonade at all. So just be forewarned. It's more like these like lemon sodas. And yeah, not really lemonade. Also, another thing that's interesting is that you can take a bottle out of the six pack. Like you don't have to buy the whole six pack if you want the big bottle. You can literally just take them out. That's why these packages look like this. So someone's just come in and decided they wanted one of these. Okay, this is the last one left. Six bucks. Can we get it? I feel like you really want that. Or would you rather get like a chocolate and pistachio combination? Ooh, that looks good. Which one do you want? Oh no, see, but that's a panettone. Yeah. And that's a Pandoro. Yeah, so which one do you They're want? They're different. Which one do you want? I'm not sure. Ooh, it has caramelized pistachios. Do we carry it right now? This entire freezer section is insane. I mean, you've got like a full octopus in here. I don't even know what that is. Mm. Lots and lots of juice. What? They've got a Bavarian pizza? We have to try that. With are... sausage and potato. <laughs> Mateo and I eat a lot of frozen pizza when we're busy, so... We'll see, but this Which discounts one? only if you have the coupe card. We have to try that. I feel like that's a sacrilege. What if we're also going to put a card <laughs> at the front to swap us in? We can give it a try, we why not? Try why not? Let's be adventurous today. A part of me feels like this is a sin, but that's yeah, okay. This pizza is usually good though. That's true, the brand is very nice. <laughs> We're definitely gonna regret this. <laughs> I can already feel my stomach hurting. I kinda want that tonight. So we normally get this one, there's two margarita pizzas in there, and then we'll add pesto on top. But Thank today, you. today we're being exciting. They do have a little bit of a foreign food section here, so you'll find some stuff for sushi and soy sauce. They also have some Mexican food options here. So this brand we get a lot in the States, but it is very expensive here. I, I don't think it's this expensive in America. You've got a burrito kit, some tortilla chips, but again, this tiny bag of chips is like two euro twenty, and it's not very big. The most Italian chips you'll find: rosemary and paprika. Not paprika. What is it? Pepperoncino. Sorry, that's what I meant. It's for a euro thirty-five a bag. Oh yeah, and this one has a lot of like Cetaphil and stuff. So you've got Cetaphil, this really good brand here also. Lots of people love this, it's just very, it's just pricier than your average one. But they have all of this here and some Neutrogena. We've got Avino, CeraVe. So actually a pretty well stocked kind of cosmetic section. Oh, no, that's right. Hey. I think we just need a little one. Lime and Apple flower? Lime. Fiori di mele. So the signs are in Italian, but then right underneath in very small writing, it's in English. And I, I put oat milk in my morning coffee with my espresso. It's delicious. And it's running usually at 228. I hate when we run out of food because it's always so heavy to carry home when we restock. <laughs> What are you looking for? Fancy mold spray. What? Oh yes, and they also sell these little cans of like Bombay Gin Sapphire. And Tao and I got these for free in Rome and they tasted terrible. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, we really didn't like those ones. We also got some spritz to go. So these are three bottles. This is the Hugo spritz for $3.69 and the normal spritz also $3.69 most important order of business for the day. My lint chocolate ball. Do I need any more of my soup or are we good? I usually get this one and it's 178 or the asparagus one. Guilty pleasure. Mateo, no, our, our house is literally out of, like we are out of food. I feel like this looks like so much. 
I would go Bavarian pizza. <laughs> Assa right. Insulting your roots. Oh, it's too cold for the gelato now, but these fridges are always stocked. Look at those Magnum bars, mini with pistachio. Ooh, so good. We always take we always take Mateo's backpack with us and we stock it with all the heavy stuff. So the Pepsi, the oat milk, what a trooper. Carrying that on your back for the family. What else we got? Or multiple bottles of wine. <laughs> it's like Hermione's extendable bag charm. You just keep reaching it. Oh no. Keep reaching it and grabbing wine. Oh, uh, and tomato paste. Ooh, and the little jar that the old lady told us to buy. Hopefully that's good. We've never never tried this one before. She seemed pretty sold on it though. She did. I was I didn't understand her at first. I think she was speaking like an old Italian. <laughs> Maybe she was just old and Italian. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. <laughs> sad, sad looking fridge. Our fridge right now is basically all like condiments, beverages, and cream cheese. Condiments, mm -hmm. beverages, and grape juice. Which is a grape juice? Fermented grape juice. Oh. And burrata. And burrata. The one bougie expense of every shopping trip is that burrata bowl. Now the fridge looks less sad. I mean, still sad, <laughs> but less sad. <laughs> well, look at that setup. Hmm? It feels so good to be restocked. We were on bare bones today because we've been so busy working and filming and editing that we looked up this morning and we realized we had no more food. So we are all stocked up and we're ready for about another week. Like these big shops usually last us about a week, if not a little bit more. Today we had to buy a few more house goods like soap and sponges and things that we only buy every once in a while. So. The price was a little bit more today. I think we paid 78 euro for everything. But on a normal week, when it's just like food and drinks, uh, we pay roughly around 60 to 65. And that's including like a few bottles of the DOCG Chianti wine. We'll pick up beers, just things like that. That usually comes out to about 60 to 65 euro. But today we just needed a little bit more. I don't know about you guys, but seeing a freshly stocked kitchen just makes me really happy. And that might be really weird, but it's... Just it's just very satisfying and I just feel like we have so many options today but alas we need to let you know what this Bavarian pizza tastes like I feel like I can't end this I feel like I can't end this video without telling you guys if this tastes good or not because we've never had it and it looks interesting and this brand is really good um, so I have high hopes for this but we shall see Another thing I typically buy is the Nescafe Gold, but they don't sell it at Coop. I have to go to Conad to get it, and it's, I think, like roughly five euro for this jar, but it does last me a very long time. So both of our coffees come out to five or just around five euro for the Lavazza and the Nescafe. Oh. I really hope it's good. This is what's this box of? It's so hard to open, my bad. <laughs> Someone needs to get back to the gym. I think so. Oh. Oh, wow. That is like... Bavarian. <laughs> Our taste buds are going to Bavaria tonight. It's either going to be delicious or disgusting. <laughs> There's like... Wait, I need I a think timer. I got a bot dog. It is a Wurstel. Wurstel. 
200 degrees. Now, for our tempo, remove the stuff, cook it for seven to nine minutes. Right. Are the instructions in Italian? We are in Italy. There's pictures, though. So, if you don't read Italian, there are pictures. If you ever need to make a frozen pizza. Are you ready? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. Fast, fast, fast. Is that two man pizza? I mean, it's supposed to be for like four people, but <laughs> two man pizza. But we like to eat. Hey Google, set timer for seven minutes. As a little appetizer, we're gonna eat our rosemary trips that Matteo loves so much. That's his preferred flavor. My preferred flavor is the pepperoncino one. These go down so quick because they are delicious. If you think our diet's unhealthy, it's just today. So you can actually see the little bits of rosemary in this chip like here. They actually make you feel not so bad for eating chips. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You can have it, I'm happy for you. This guy says, okay. Hey Google, stop. That is actually smelling delicious. Oh. Is it done? Oh, it <laughs> fogged fire? up my whole screen. That does smell good. I think it's done. I mean, it's soft. It tastes like rosemary. Mm. Delightful. Okay. Bavaria, here we come. The potatoes not cooked, like, I guess, I don't know. I was expecting it to be maybe crunchier. They look quite soft. Mm, the pizza but... looks crunchy. No, the pizza's done. It actually looks pretty yummy. Yeah. I just... Oh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Us with your samurai sword. Dinner is served. <laughs> what beer are we going with tonight? I don't know, I'm thinking either Iknusa Quattro Lupuli or Moretti. This is a thicker one, not thicker, but like heavier. So maybe I'll do this one, it'll be nice with the pizza. Souffle Abiti. Let's see what this tastes like. A lot of the times, Matteo and I, when we get the frozen pizzas here, it'll be like a basic margarita. And we will add the pesto. We also add oregano, pepperoncino spice, and sometimes we slice up the spicciolona salami and like cube it and put it on top. So it usually tastes pretty good because we make our own, I guess you could say adjustments. We haven't touched this yeah, wow. one though. We haven't added anything to it. So let's see. Oh, this is like all hot dog on this piece. We need to get a mix of both. Here. Really? Yeah, cheers. <laughs> It's a lot of rosemary. Really? Did you get a lot? In fact, mine's a normal amount. I just got one of the potato pieces with the pizza. It just tastes like... It tastes like rosemary. What do you mean? It tastes like rosemary. But the potato is very soft, and it literally, when you bite into it, just tastes like smushed. Almost like you put a little bit of mashed potatoes on top of the pizza. I like it. Hmm. I'm not sure what sausage that is, but it's... But it tastes like a hot dog. Wurstel. It's Wurstel. It's Italian and Afrikaans. Mm. It's actually quite creamy. Where's that from? I think it's the potato. Shows not the base. Mm. Oh, no, 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 you're right. Oh, that's actually very, that's actually better than I expected. Mm. Wow. I'm well impressed. I'm impressed by this too. That's way better than I anticipated. All right, good choice. Mm. If you find the Bavarian pizza and want to give it a try, Hmm. Why not? We approve. This video is not sponsored by the Bavarian Pizza Industry Limited. Pizza Pizza. <laughs> Italian company. I promise we literally eat healthy 99% of the time. But days like today, we were out filming all day. Got back late. Needed a quick dinner because we've been, we walked what, over 10 days today. And when we're out filming, we usually don't eat because we're so busy. So this is like our cheat meal for the week. It's usually a chip, pizza, homemade. Okay, sometimes we have two nights. Sometimes we have two nights, but the rest of the time it's usually super healthy. And we're always eating fruits and vegetables. Somehow we like cut out meat. That was a total accident, but we just have been sticking to more veggies and stuff. But I promise our chip appetizer leading up to this pizza 
is not what we eat every day. <laughs>